Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Bees by Passion and forget about football heritage, player personnel, and taking a play out of another manager's playbook because Barcelona are still your reigning UEFA Women's Champions League winners. Yes, this comes off the back of an emphatic 2-0 victory over Olympic Lyonnais in a hard-fought and well-earned win for the Blaugrana who, for the first time in their history, have registered a win against Olympic Lyonnais. Now, this recording is taking place little minutes after the final whistle and trophy presentation have been done and whilst it's also very fresh in my mind, I must say that that was quite a good final between Lyon and Barcelona. It was a really great encounter between two great teams who both wanted to win. There were so many narratives going into this game from it being the final games for both teams coaches in a Champions League capacity at least for the time being to seeing it the third time was the charm for Barcelona when it came to a finals encounter with their French counterparts. I genuinely can't point out or single out any single moment or player who went missing or has found wanting because all the players on the pitch turned up. When it comes to the action on the pitch, what can I say except it was dazzling. It was an enthralling chess match headed up by two coaches who were obviously at the top of their games as both Pompasta and Giraldes revealed many a trick up their sleeves in the hopes of outdoing one another which led to so many intense and nail-biting moments throughout the game with both sides threatening to snatch all the glory. And yet, it all came down to two pieces of exquisite individual brilliance by the last two recipients of the Ballon d'Or with Aitana Bonmati and Alexia Puteas being the names on the score sheet with both players channeling their inner blue lock weapons and turning zero into one and two thanks to these solitary actions that were key in helping the Blaugrana seal their second consecutive title and become only the fourth team in Champions League history to go back to back in terms of tournament wins. With this win, it does mean that not only have Barca added their names to the history books, but they have now etched their own history in Spain as they become the first side ever to complete the quadruple with the Champions League coming off the back of the Blaugrana retaining their Liga F title and winning both the Spanish Supercopa and the Copa de la Reina trophies in what is undoubtedly a historic season that will forever go down not only in Barca but footballing folklore for years to come. And as for Olympic Lyonnais, commiserations must go out to them because honestly speaking, they were in the match up until the bitter end and even stepped up a gear or two when they had gone down thanks to Goat Mati's individualism. If anything, this match will serve as ample motivation for Lecon to come back stronger next season and go at it again for the Champions League, especially given their performance today of which special mentions need to go out to the likes of Saba Bacha, Kadidiatu Dianim and Melchi Dumone who were some of the leading lights for their team throughout the game. Now before I leave you, just a special mention to all the people who were not on the pitch. From the cameramen to the people who were in charge of maintaining the pitch's quality. But firstly, that was a mesmerizing atmosphere at the San Mames with 50,827 in attendance which breaks the previous all-time attendance record for a UWCL final set in 2011. The majority of which being Barcelona fans and having such a huge 12th man advantage did definitely do the players a whole world of good given that the fans were raucous from start to end. I can't recall a moment where the stadium noise dropped in volume too significantly which is a testament to just how beloved these two teams are. And also an extra special mention must go out to the DAZN commentators and punditry team, particularly the team of Leanne Sanderson, Semra Hunter and Viviana Midema, whose in-game analysis was simply exquisite, engaging and informative. And you honestly could not have asked for a better insight from them and they deserve their flowers for it. And speaking of the outgoing Arsenal legend, a key point that the punditry team raised throughout the game was that Barcelona had lacked an out and out center forward who would have helped with attacking the spaces in opposition box, which is honestly such a potentially huge clue considering that during the broadcast, Miedema herself explicitly noted that she wanted to step up when it comes to the next club of her choice, with the Women's Champions League being the only thing left to fill out on her glittering resume. Who knows, maybe this was more than just a punditry gig for the Dutch native. Nevertheless though, that is all just transfer speculation that can be put to one side for later down the road because as for now, in case you didn't know already, 
Barcelona are your reigning, defending and undisputed UEFA Champions League winners. Felicidades al Barca.